We're going to talk more, though, about flying. Reports show travelers have been willing to pay higher airfare costs until now. According to Adobe Analytics, the first 10 months of 2022 saw $76 billion in domestic flights. But the report also shows that flights for the week of Thanksgiving are down by 7% and down 17% for the week of Christmas. This comes after U.S. carriers reported multi-billion dollar sales in 2022. Joining me now to talk more about that and what you can actually do to save is Sandra McLemore, a travel industry expert. Sandra, thank you for joining us. we got a lot of momentum in this discussion about seat size. <laughs> oh, good morning, friends. Yeah, Mexican bus is not what we're aiming for. Bigger seat sizes is definitely going to make travelers happier. They've gotten a lot smaller over the years. All right, so let's talk about uh, holiday travel. It should be supply and demand, right? If there's less demand uh, and there's the same supply, the price ought to go down. What gives with all these holiday prices? They're still high, even though fewer people are buying. Yeah, I think that also we're comparing flight prices to what we saw during the pandemic. If you were traveling during the pandemic, chances are that you've got a great deal. So not seeing those great deals this year makes you feel like the prices have gone rocket high. But as the stats that you just put up uh, indicate, it's not much off of what 2019 was. That being said, prices are going to continue to increase the closer we get to Thanksgiving and then again the closer that we get to the holidays after that. Well, so I wonder, too, with less demand, maybe there are fewer people on these planes in these uh, airports. Does that mean that we're not going to see sort of the travel, uh, well, H-E double hockey sticks that we saw for Memorial Day for Fourth of July over the summer? Yeah, I don't think that anyone should expect prices at all to come down or to get competitive. In, typically, it goes up $10 per day the closer that you get to your holiday. What I think that we'll see is people trying to snag last-minute deals, but I just don't think they're going to be lucky enough to do that this year. No, but I'm more, more asking if there are fewer people buying them, then there are going to be fewer people in the airport. Maybe we won't have to worry about the pilot shortages and some of the messes that the airlines were in uh, over the summer. Are we going to see fewer people in the airport, so at least your flying experience might be a little bit easier? No, I, I predict that all flights will go completely packed and completely full. If flights are not full right now, it's because people haven't yet booked and they might be holding out for a deal. So I really don't think we're going to see less people in the airport. And I believe that all the flights will go full. That is disappointing to hear. Uh, tell me how to protect myself then. I know I've got to travel. A lot of people have to travel for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Uh, what are some things you can still do to look out for yourself, uh, given that we're still going to see the travel chaos we expect? Yeah, of course. So there's a couple of things. The first thing that comes to mind is luggage. If you can travel with carry-on only, you're going to fare a lot better. But if not, consider popping something like this into your suitcase. You can use an air tag or a tile that will help you to locate your suitcase if you're unlucky enough for it to get lost. Also showing up just that little bit extra, especially passengers that don't have TSA or clear, or perhaps people that just need a little bit of extra boarding time. If you haven't yet booked, book quickly and try to book the first flight of the day. You have less chances of your flight being delayed if you're on the first one with as few a layovers or stops as possible. I've got a TSA pre-check meeting next week and I'm looking forward to it. So that is a, a great tip there from Sandra McLemore. Sandra, we appreciate your time uh, and we wish you luck with wherever you are traveling for the holidays. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.